Tessa. You don't even know how much you're loved. I love you and I'm gonna miss you. Candles lit, flowers lane, an honor song plays over the sound of pain tears as a community gathers to mourn Tessa Perry, a mother of four who lost her life in what family says was an act of domestic violence. It's the hardest thing for your loved one to die at someone's domestic violence hand. Took away someone dear to us, a mother, a daughter, a grandmother, granddaughter, friend. She was such an awesome woman, so awesome. 31-year-old Perry is described as a beautiful mother who centered her life around guiding her children. Hundreds came to pay respects to her, the third Indigenous woman killed in the span of two weeks in Winnipeg. It's really difficult to find the words to describe what is happening here in Winnipeg. Hilda Anderson Piers is the chair of the National Family and Survivors Circle who are working on a missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls action plan. Anderson Piers is Perry's aunt, this case hitting closer to home. We have the right to live, we have the right to be safe. Anderson Piers wants to see all levels of government, including Indigenous governments, take action on the 231 calls for justice from the MMIWG National Inquiry. NDP MLA Nahani Fontaine says funding for shelters for women escaping domestic abuse needs to be addressed immediately. I'm terrified for Indigenous women and girls in Two-Spirited uh, just living out their daily lives. I'm terrified for them. And I don't see a sense of urgency or concern at what this crisis demands. This is my second vigil this week, and, uh, and I heard the cry of the mother, and I'm thinking the same thing she is. Domestic violence must stop. 24-year-old Rebecca Contois and 25-year-old Doris Trout, the other two Indigenous women who were victims of homicides in just the past two weeks. Tessa Perry's grandmother, Muriel Perry, is urging Winnipeggers to look out for those in their community. I kindly ask each and every of you guys that have a family member that's going through a piece, please help them because they're struggling in silence. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.